quite right he was. Um, I remember waking up with several medical staff surrounding me. Um, I was told the procedure took three hours, which is pretty average. Um, gone are the days where it took four to eight hours. Um, it, and they told me it was uh, successful. Um, I remember getting up um, and being asked if I bought a pair of slippers. Um, from, from there, I can't remember even getting to my bed. Um, I was returned to the bed uh, where I came from in the first place. Um, I came out of the lab at about 11.20 in the morning um, and I do remember shaking quite violently but was told this is to do with the um, anaesthetic wearing off. Um, they also do pump you with um, sickness uh, medication to stop you throwing up, um, which anaesthetic causes. Um, it's, it was then all a sort of blur until about one o'clock um, when I actually spoke to my wife on the telephone um, and happily told her it all went well. Um, I was then closely monitored and my heart machine kept um, alarming with a high pulse rate. Um, I was told to ignore this. Um, it went off quite regularly, which I think the, it didn't impress the nurses too much. Um, I was told at this stage I would have to have a thinner injection. Uh, the nurse came back and actually injected me in the stomach with it. Um, uh, about two minutes later, I don't think my body reacted too well with the thinner. Um, I went clammy, cold, sweaty, and I went a creamy white colour, um, and I thought it was it. <laughs> um, but it soon wore off. Um, the nurse actually came back and said it was probably just a reaction because I've not had it before. Patients who have a lacquer are expected to stay overnight, and unfortunately I was given the news that my name had been rubbed off the board upstairs. Uh, in the cardiology ward um, and would have to now wait until one became available um, throughout the cardiology units. Uh, I was pleased to find out that I did not have to have a bladder catheter fitted um, and it wasn't until about half past one in the afternoon um, I felt that I needed a wee. Um, the nurse checked my groins to see if there was any bleeding. Uh, there wasn't. Um, he said he would escort me to the toilet and if I had a problem in there that um, I would need to pull the cord. Um, having a wee, I thought I was weeing down my leg, but it wasn't, it was blood coming out of my, uh, my veins in my groin. Um, so I pulled the cord, um, the nurse came and got me and escorted me back to my bed. Um, I then had to lay down there for another two hours. Um, Personally, I think that I got up too early um, and because they do advise that you need at least four hours on your back. Um, the rest of the day consisted of regular ECGs, uh, groin checks and general observations. Um, I will say that you can use your mobile phone, um, but make sure you bring uh, a mobile phone uh, charger because it does go down very quickly. I was informed at half past four in the afternoon that um, a bed had become available in the rapid assessment unit um, and I finally got up to the unit at half past seven at night. Um, here I was told I would be closely monitored um, very closely um, throughout the evening um, but I was a little bit concerned. I wasn't hooked up to the heart monitor until half past 10 that night. Um, it wasn't until the oncoming nurse noticed that I wasn't hooked up. Um, she, uh, she promptly uh, hooked me up. 
uh, about midnight, um, I reported symptoms of heartburn. Uh, the doctor was called. Um, he came very, very quickly, uh, which was fair play to him. Uh, there could be two reasons for um, signs of heartburn. Um, one, it could be heartburn, or they've uh, gone a bit close to the esophagus and done damage to it. Um, they gave me a dose of Gaviscon, um, which is the first time I've had it, and uh, it's very, very good stuff, to be honest. Um, and this actually cleared the, the heartburn. Um, uh, I was basically pain free, there was a dull ache in my left hand side of the heart where obviously they've done the work um, but this is obviously expected. Um, throughout the night um, I had a few more ECGs and regular groin checks, um, everything was okay, fine. The morning after, the doctors come round and um, discuss the procedure with you. Um, she confirmed that um, I was shocked during the operation we started um, to reset my heart rhythm. Um, this is followed by discharge pretty quickly. If you have to wait for um, pills, uh, add-ons to your medication, you have to wait a little bit extra. If not, um, you get released pretty um, pretty quickly. On your discharge, you get a letter to explain uh, what has happened to you um, during the last day or so, um, and what medicines to stop, or um, any add-on medicines that they want you to take. Um, I'm really glad I've been, now been taken off the flecainide, um, but I've got to continue with warfarin uh, for the next three months, um, just in case there's any blood clots uh, that should arise. Um, it also says that you should not drive for a week. I actually disputed this, um, and I said DVLA actually states it's 48 hours, um, but John Radcliffe still argued this. Um, uh, a word of caution, um, if you inform DVLA you've had a successful ablation, they will send you forms um, that have to be filled out and returned, um, and they can make inquiries to your doctor, your cardiologist, um, and they might they, they ask for consent for your medical forms to be released. Um, I rang and told DVA, DVLA um, and asked them to clarify whether it was a week or uh, two days, 48 hours. Um, after some time they admitted it was only 48 hours. Um, now, as I had informed them, um, of the successful catheter ablation, um, they required me to fill these forms in and send them back to them, um, which is a bit of a joke really. Um, but they said once I've informed them, they have to carry out the motions and I'm still waiting to hear what outcome there is from that. DVLA also state on their website that if you have a successful catheter ablation, you do not have to inform them but you do have to inform them that you have arrhythmia. Um, if you don't, you can be fined up to a thousand pounds, and if you have an accident, accident um, they will take legal action against you. Post-op, um, I've had for the first three or four days some transient bumps on and off. Um, these can last up to a couple of weeks. Um, they say if they do carry on after two weeks, then go back to your GP and they will refer you back to John Radcliffe. Um, there's been a dull ache in my groin, uh, but not painful at all. Um, a bit of bruising on the right hand side where the two puncture wounds were in the groin. Um, and I, I must say they've healed absolutely brilliantly and they hard, no, hardly, hardly show at all. 
um, five days on, um, I feel like I'm in someone else's body, to be honest. Um, I've not had one attack of AF, um, and I can't hardly feel my heart pumping at all. Um, it's fantastic. I could run a marathon, to be honest. Um, if you're thinking about this operation, uh, then I would really go for it. Um, it's well worth it. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all the medical staff at John Ratcliffe Hospital, um, the cardiology ward, arrhythmia specialists, um, rapid assessment unit. Um, they all do a terrific job under immense pressure and I've now seen that first hand. Um, if you would like to contact me, um, please feel free. Um, you can email me at nigelcm at yahoo.co.uk uh, I hope you've enjoyed my video um, I've tried to be honest and factual um, and I say if you want to get back to me it's my pleasure to respond to you thank you